Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is uh, just one video in a series of tutorial videos showing uh, how to use my uh, motorcycle setup software, uh, which you can see more details of on my website at uh, www.tonyfowle.com. The values of wheel moment of inertia are used just to uh, make uh, refinements to the calculation of anti-squat and anti-dive. Uh, we can access uh, three different calculators um, here for calculating the wheel moments of inertia through three different methods of measurement as we can see. Uh, there's one which I refer to as uh, swing like a pendulum and uh, we can get an idea of what that's like by looking at this photo. Basically, the wheel is mounted on some pivot, this rod through here, which we can see in the other view. In this case, it's put through two symmetrical holes in the uh, disc, and then the wheel is allowed to swing slightly from side to side. Okay, the second is uh, rolling down a slope, uh, which personally I find uh, rather awkward to do, but it's included in here because I have seen in the past that some magazines, when they've been doing some tests on the moment of inertia of wheels and tyres, have used this method. But my experience is that it's very, very hard to get the wheel to move and to roll straight down the slope. Uh, the third method, which I actually prefer, uh, although it requires the initial making up of a pulley beforehand that you can bolt to the wheel, is to use a pulley and uh, cord and uh, a, a weight. And we'll see these three uh, in the three different methods in just a second. Okay, first of all, let's pick on the swing pendulum one. We saw the photo previously. We have a certain swing radius, which depends on where we mount it from. Uh, we allow the wheel to swing from side to side. We don't need large angular movements here. Um, and we let it swing for uh, a certain number of cycles so that we get a good timing interval, so we get good accuracy on that. And uh, by default, the software uses a uh, default number of cycles of 20, but the user can change this to suit. Uh, let's put some values in for the front wheel and see how this works. Let's put in a 12 kilogram. Uh, wait for the front wheel. We'll leave the number of cycles as it is. Let's say that it takes 30 seconds. We measure 30 seconds to, for 20 cycles. And then we've got a swing radius of 100 millimeters. Okay, probably all fairly typical values. We press the calculate button and we see that that gives us a value of 0 0.55 for the moment inertia in kilograms meters squared. This little information box is uh, purely telling us that we didn't put any data in on the rear. Uh, the last method, which I actually prefer, is the pulley and weight method. Here we need to make a, a pulley. I suggest a, a, a radius, a diameter of something like 100 millimeters, a radius of around about 50. And we'll, we'll wind uh, a, a few turns of cord or string around there and attach a certain weight to it then we'll let it go at the same time as we start the timing and we'll measure the period to rotate an even number of revolutions. Okay, in this case it's not the weight of the wheel that we're concerned with but purely the weight of the weight which drives it around. Okay, so let's put in there for instance two kilograms. Um, let's count two revolutions, that's the default value. Uh, let's say we measured a period of four seconds and we had a pulley radius of 50 millimeters. Again, press the calculate button and in this instance for that wheel it would give us a moment of inertia of 0 0.575. Well that's it for now. Uh, to make sure that you don't miss any uh, more of these tutorial videos on the motorcycle setup software I suggest that you tick the like button on this one and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Motor Chassis. Uh, for more information about the suspension setup software and uh, my book on chassis design, I suggest you visit my website at uh, www.tonyfoll.com. Thanks for watching.